Hmm. Hmm. I feel like I've seen SkyTube somewhere before. Hmm. Yep, I did. Hey, what's going on? Bill is Krosama here. So this is going to be the first full figure from the Alpha Max and SkyTube line. Uh, very unique. I, I never thought they would go this route, but it, I guess it kind of makes sense with the products that they do uh, push out. Uh, but this one in particular is a part of the Dark Advent line. Uh, so her name is Sophia. She is a, I guess, dragon dress. That's kind of like the other title or that's just kind of like the name attached to her. Uh, but it's really cool because she has like these armaments that are very dragon uh, base. So, you know, hence dragon dress. Uh, but I really like like the horns on top of her head. Just the overall aesthetic is very like medieval mixed in with a little bit of kind of like demonology kind of stuff uh, or demonic kind of uh, attributes but she looks really cool and I'm pretty excited to go ahead and you know see exactly what's gonna come in the box now also there's two different versions there's the normal version and then there's the DX version and I will show you later exactly what the DX version is now just real quick to talk about the box I do love the illustration and I honestly love the just artwork and the design of the uh, the box as a whole it's very reminiscent to like the frame arms girls and kind of like the way the sides are at least uh, structured um, but I think the front of it is super unique it has a little bit of Megami device kind of looking to it uh, but I, I just love it man I really love the the anime style uh, illustration on the front uh, so really cool and I really do appreciate just the extra effort artists go uh, to make these boxes look really good now this kit did come out today, or I think actually maybe Thursday over here, uh, so August, about 29th or 30th over here in Japan. Uh, it has gotten delayed. It was supposed to come out, I think, in the beginning of August, if not the end of July. Uh, but they postponed it, and they kind of pushed it all the way to the end of August. Uh, but, you know, regardless, I think there was like some kind of uh, error with the plastic. Um, but whatever that case may be, I'm really happy that I still was able to get it. So this kit is going to be retailing for anywhere between like $75 to maybe $80, $85 online. Uh, in Japan, I think I picked it up for about 7,500 yen. Uh, but yeah, you're, you're going to be paying a little bit more than the original version just because it is going to come with extra little items. Now with looking on the side of the box, obviously, yeah, it's going to be... Um, <laughs> It's gonna be different. We're gonna we're having a different route of uh, of model kits in this channel, and uh, you know I'm, I'm pretty much open to that at this point. But yeah, I think the one little kind of pose right here with the bazooka dragon head, I do think that looks really cool, and I love the kind of like arm, like sickle or uh, kind of knife that's protruding. I think that just looks really badass. And here she is with the. I mean, she really didn't have much armor on in the first place, but here she is without all the extra armor on her. And, I mean, it looks really good. It's pretty much like the uh, Frame Arms Girl as well as the Megami device kind of stuff where they have all their armor uh, being able to take off. And you can probably customize her just a little bit more. And right here, she is going to have kind of like, an, uh, like a bow. And then the dragon can, I guess, mount on the back. That's pretty damn cool so it's kind of like it's uh maybe it might be like in, i guess in the world of the uh the dark advent line uh maybe the dragon is a sentient being with just coated in armor or it could be something that's enchanted by her because she looks like she's some kind of succubus uh but i'm not really too sure don't really know the lore of this if there even is one and here's what she's gonna look like just basically unpainted undetailed uh nothing extra to her and she looks really close to what the, uh, the the side, like you know, actual full painted kit looked like. Um, I think it looks really good. Obviously, the uh, I think the gray is just going to be really dulled down in comparison to what we're seeing on the uh, you know the illustrations. But that's nothing that we can't fix easily. Uh, but regardless, I think overall, I mean, it looks really good, just like unpainted. And if you come to the other side of the box, she is going to have different faces that you can actually enter swap with. And here's going to be the DX faces, so she has a blank face and you can go ahead and utilize any one of these water slide decal faces and you could probably guess which one I'm going to be using. So I'm just going to start with the yellow parts which is going to be for the hair. Not really going to be too many parts but yeah this is going to be one of them. And here's going to be the other piece with all the other hair parts. Uh, so this one is going to have these little holes right here for the horns but you can just replace them with uh, you know some regular hair. And next is going to be all the flesh tone parts. 
and more flesh tone is going to be runner G so obviously you're going to have the breast and then you're going to put like the little bra part underneath there and then this is going to be a uh, part for the face and here's going to be the rest of the body parts and here's going to be your facial expression so these are just going to be your default ones that's going to come with the kit and they're pretty cool looking actually now you also get some blank faces uh this is going to be different expressions so this one's going to have kind of like a smirk uh, this is going to have like a yelling face and then this one you can still see the uh, the mouth uh, but it's kind of more of a neutral face and that's going to be is the red part so you're going to have two runner l's uh, this is going to be for like the more bladed looking items and just some more uh, miscellaneous parts all over the kit and next is going to be the horn so these are some pretty bright red horns and next is going to be runner j so this one's going to have like the little bows right here uh, it's going to be for the uh, the body and then just some other little red parts here and there and runner M is going to be your last bit of red. This is going to have a lot of cool looking red parts. Uh, has some places like you can definitely panel line on here. Uh, but for the most part, it's really just some lines. It's not like a lot of deep panels or anything. Uh, but it looks like you're definitely going to have some different ridges, uh, probably for the dragon part. So if you really want to paint these some uh, off colors, you will definitely be able to. And next is going to be runner A, so there's going to be a lot of black parts. This is going to be parts for the lays. You got part for the... Uh, looks like the buttocks and just a little bits and pieces all around so yeah just the black parts all over the kit and next is gonna be two runner D's just some more little black bits and you got runner C so there's like gonna be parts for the feet right here and I'm pretty sure this might be for the arm and you're gonna have the parts for the wrist uh, and this is going to be parts for the waist so very reminiscent of like the frame arms girl and Megami device and next is going to be a spear so you're going to have uh, I would have to look at the illustration again but yeah you're going to have the spear and then uh, this looks like it's going to be for the bow right there and this just kind of attaches on the side pretty much like a shield and next is going to be runner O so this is some really good silver uh, I thought it was going to look pretty bad when I saw the uh, the picture on the side of the box but it's actually really nice uh, I would imagine if you just did some like maybe dry brushing or something it would definitely bring it out just a little bit more but overall I think the silver is going to be really good looking on this kit and next is going to be runner G so you got more like bladed like objects uh, and just some other little bits that's going to attach uh, pretty much like the Megami device I'm, I'm expecting that you can just kind of plug more stuff into uh, for more customizable uh, options but yeah looks pretty good and it's going to be runner N so runner N is going to be more silver uh, it's like it's going to be primarily for the little dragon bit and lastly it's going to be another runner G so I did forget to mention that this one's going to have two runners now you're also going to get a bunch of different hands all right inside here and at the end of all these hands you are going to have uh, some little parts right there as well as the tongue for the dragon and the last runner is actually a stand. <laughs> I did not know this was coming with a stand. So uh, this actually saves me the trouble of you know, building one of my other reserve stands for this kit. Uh, but yeah, this looks really good. I, I'm kind of excited to see how this is because it has a lot of peg holes and you know, it's gonna have, uh, so it looks like some customizable options to where you could pose her in the air. Uh, maybe you know, pose the, uh, the dragon kind of separately, but yeah, actually really cool that this actually comes with a stand. So I think it's a little bit more worth the price tag now that I'm seeing a lot of the stuff that it's going to come with. And here is the manual. So it looks pretty good. It's going to come with this extra little bit. I think it's just to uh, you know show you how to put the spear together. Uh, but yeah, this is actually pretty pretty nice, pretty simple. Nothing, nothing crazy going on up in here. So yeah, all very simple instructions. Uh, no other coloring on the inside. Uh, but it just kind of shows you the transformation sequence right over here on how to like you know get her into different uh, formations and that looks like to be about it and then over here you get a nice a nice shot of her all like decked out really really loving this i'm loving that like spear kind of thing the halberd um looking weapon on the back i i just think that is man this is really cool i cannot wait to build this and you got your color guide right up there and that's pretty much it so Let's go ahead and check out the uh, the DX parts. Hmm. It's odd. Hey Steve, have you seen the, uh, the DX parts? And so I said, I don't want your goddamn one million dollars. I'm a free man. I'll do it at once. Steve! What the hell do you want? Can you check the box and just see if the DX parts are there? Always making me the goddamn one to come see things. Uh, Crow, you should come take a look. Crow, you're not planning to, uh, show this in the unboxing, are you? Yeah, pr pretty much was. You know, I would say probably it might be best to build a little mm. anticipation. This is a lot for an unboxing. Yeah, I mean, I guess. Trust me, Crow. 
they'll they'll come for the review. They want to see exactly what the hell we're looking at. And god damn, I like what I'm looking at. All right, I, yeah, I see your point, so. Maybe it would be better if we just saved it all for the uh, the review, so. All right, huh? I, guess, I guess that's it then, huh?